I've gotten permission from the gang that tore down the building, the wrecking company, to come in and uh, take a last look at the N.B. Borden Morgan Street School where Lizzie went through grammar school. <sighs> it's a pile of rubble. Came down pretty easily, they tell me. And they're coming back to do the foundation. Let's, let's walk around a little bit. Uh, I had no idea when I did my trolley tour yesterday, I was telling the, the people on the tour that it would be coming down soon. And apparently it did come down this afternoon. And the big wrecking crane is still here that had a, I think he said 60 foot reach. And it was a little difficult getting down the top. I think it was four stories. Um, they let me take away a piece of the wood and and uh, a brick. Of course, all of the asbestos was removed and uh, anything hazardous was taken down. We're now in the back of the school. Oh, here's a big beam. Kind of sad to see. This was a wonderful old building. I think it was Second Empire style. Had a cupola on the top at one time. These were the classrooms and oh, some of the width of these boards. It was built 1868. Uh, I think Lizzie would have been here until she was about 15. Um, it's just kind of sad. A lot of people in the city were very sorry. Um, that this was demolished. It could have been repurposed many years ago. Uh, I went in with the Board of Ed that it, and they allowed me to take pictures while it still had the desks and blackboards and such. And This appears to be part of the chimney. And there's the two big wreckers, wrecking cranes. I, I wish I had known earlier. Of course, in a way, I think it would have been sad to see it come down. This looks to be a piece of the chimney. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, if I didn't mention it before, the granite foundation will be coming uh, apart and all of the granite blocks will be uh, saved and either sold or repurposed in some way. This is uh, J.A. O'Brien Apartments here on Whipple Street. I'm gonna walk around and try to get a picture of the, uh, the foundation. I'm kinda having to pick and choose my steps. Well, okay, there you get a idea of the granite foundation. There's still some Looks like holes from the window. It's hard to know what to say when you see see something like this. It's always so sad to see a great old building full of memories for so many thousands of people. Now just a pile of toothpicks and rubble. Let's take a look at this foundation. I can get in a little closer here. The guys were really super nice from the company that brought the building down and it took quite a while, you know, talking to me. Uh, I might like to take a brick, maybe from the corner, if I can do that. Let's see. I don't know if I want to climb this rubble pile or not. But, you know, it went way into the sky. I can't tell you how shocked I was uh, to look to the left and to see, you know, the building down. It was such a shock. A lot of the bricks are busted up. Yeah, I think that one's all broken from the corner. Let me try to find one that's not broken up so badly. Oh, here's one. 
part of the green trim. It's starting to rain, which makes everything look even sadder. And I think we'll be heading back to the car. But uh, I've been looking at this old building many years since I first started working at the Lizzie Borden house. And uh, it's a sad ending. I guess there's not much more to say about it, but I do wish cities would try to save these wonderful, architecturally significant uh, buildings and think more about preservation rather than demolition. That's all from Florida.